Hello, welcome to your next um, Ratchet tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at um, creating a web view. What if we wanted a website to appear here? Maybe we have um, a Brain Temple website or BrainTemp.org uh, website and we want it to appear here. So, what I did basically was just to clear out what was inside here. I cleared it out. So, if we get to our code, we would see um, we would see that this is the content uh, D. I just emptied it. So basically, to make a web view or to um, mirror a website right inside your application, what you would just do is to use your iframe tags. Just like in basic HTML, you will just have to add the the tag. Okay, so I could just start typing immediately. What I have is iframe, and of course, iframe has uh, a number of um, things you could write there. All right, there the iframe. We can just um, quickly close it, and now it's closed. We could just start adding adding attributes, and uh, the first attribute is this SRC, the source. The source is the website you wanted to show. Um, basically, I just wanted to show brainpen.org. And then beware that not all websites accept iframe tags. Websites like Google, Facebook, you, you can do iframe on them. When you want to visit uh, Facebook with an iframe, by the time Facebook finishes opening, you will just see that it's no longer in, in the iframe. It becomes the whole application. So, but, but this is our own site. and. Um, Brainterm.org. The next thing we want to put is width. Um, what's the width? The the length of the iframe. Well, first of all, we could just check it out now, and then see. When we load this application, it should just go and fetch Brainterm.org and then open it. Okay, so let's get back to Chrome, and then in our app, we could just refresh. You see, it's trying to load the brainterm.org but there's a problem the problem is that it's trying to load it in a default box so we don't we don't want it to end like this oops uh, point on it sorry we don't want it to end like this we want it to occupy the whole screen okay up to this point we want it to occupy the whole screen then we don't want this frame around it we just want it to blend smoothly with the application so what we'll do is we'll get back to our code and then add the width attributes width and then of course uh, width is 100 percent which is basically uh, occupy the whole width then we'll add height to height 100 percent occupy the whole height then we don't want border so we we'll, we'll, um, we could do border zero or we'll just use uh, html a CSS styling inline style and we we'll add border none and then you could start using um, CSS to add other other designs you want inside other styles okay so that that basically uh, makes up your iframe and then we could go back to Chrome and refresh uh, it occupies the whole screen because of um, slow internet uh, it's not opening and the next thing you want to check out is um, what if we had links in our pages like these links we want it uh, this being caused by a slow internet so what if we had links on these pages that we want for instance when I click on more sorry when I click on more we have um, a menu. I just created this menu. This is a popover. If you click on categories, you should go to Brainterm website, brainterm.org, and load categories and display here the categories page. So, what if we wanted it to display right inside here? What we'll do is um, we, we link this to this iframe. Remember, this is a, a popover menu and there are categories. So, what we just basically do is we, we come to the menu more this more link at the bottom of the page this is the more link here so when someone clicks it should um, drop down make the drop down which is this 
you make this drop down then when someone clicks on the categories it should open the categories page from brentem.org here so we're back and then in the more link we reference that pop over and here is the pop over here is the pop over wherever look at it so we've done it before where well, we created this pop over then this is the first link which is categories there is a an l li tag list tag okay i just want to separate it so you'll see and then right here the trick to making th this page this is a an a a tag for making creating links in html this this is the the target the href the, the trick for making this url to open inside our iframe is to make sure that the target is the name of the iframe so i just created the target to be i named it iframe main you could name yours anything then right inside the iframe right here we give it the we'll give it the name of iframe main so i frame main all right so uh our uh, iframe has a name uh, that we call iframe main. All right. Then each link on the page will have a target called iframe main. So when the person clicks on the link, it opens the link inside our iframe box. So for most users, especially those who have a, a smooth internet, they don't notice that it's, it's actually pulling from the internet, just loading smoothly, and then blending with the rest of the application all right that sums it up for our, our web view iframe and the course and then check out my other tutorials on ratchet thank you very much okay i just um, a minute look at it it just loaded and um, this is my phone screen and uh, this is the website Brain term, oh, brain term is loaded inside the phone screen as you can see as you can see and then whenever I click categories it loads up categories pretty nicely checks out a page and it lo it's loading the correct page well 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 um, our categories page just loaded and that pretty sums it up Thank you very much. See you in the next video.